And Ken, it sure was beautiful today. We'll continue to see those cloud free skies all the way through tonight. 86 degrees at 7 o'clock. Maybe you're headed to the Portland Film Festival in the Pearl District. They're watching movies outside, and you couldn't ask for better weather. 78 degrees at 9 o'clock, and then down to 74 by 11. So it'll be a really mild overnight period with overnight lows in the mid 60s. 63 degrees tomorrow at 8 a.m. You know, we could see a few clouds around to kick off the day, but we'll get back to the sunshine by afternoon. Noon time, 75 degrees, and then 84 for a high tomorrow. Gosh, wasn't it a great day for football? This is what it looked like in Eugene. I pulled this off of Twitter. Thank you so much, everybody who was sharing their pictures today. 91 degrees, the official high in Eugene. And it was also the high in Corvallis, where the Beavers are taking on the Eagles from Eastern Washington. Uh, highs elsewhere around the state, 90s for uh, Salem, 88 degrees. Didn't quite get there in Portland, but still feeling quite nice outside. Roasty toasty east of the Cascades, 94 in the Dalles, 92 for Pendleton. And Astoria, 77 degrees. Lots of people out at the beaches, 63 in Newport, where there are a few more clouds. I want to take a live look outside. This is 217 and Canyon Road. Look at that beautiful shot. Uh, lots of people out and about today, walking the dog, going on a run. It is just a perfect evening to be outside. 65 degrees at Cannon Beach, and you can see a lot of people are outside there. Want to take you a little bit further south in Lincoln City, more cloud coverage there. So high pressure will dominate for one more day, providing one more sunny day with warm weather. But then as we move off into the Pacific, you can see there's a storm system here. It's an area of low pressure, cold front right there, and that pushes on shore on Monday morning. I'll show you here on your rain and cloud forecast. This is 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. So clouds out at the coast. A few clouds potentially making it through the gaps in uh, the coast range down toward Eugene and then up along the Columbia River. As we move through the day, more sunshine on the way for the valley. I don't think the, the coast will break out of the clouds very quickly tomorrow, if at all. And here's that cold front I was talking about. 8 a.m. on Monday morning, some sprinkles out of the coast, potentially some sprinkles inland. That's 9 a.m. And as the day wears on, potentially a few more showers for your Labor Day. But I think we get a mainly dry day. Here's back to school Tuesday, 8 a.m. AM, maybe a few sprinkles around Portland, but again, I think it's going to be a mainly dry day for Tuesday, 3 o'clock, spotty showers around. Your forecast for Sunday morning cloud areas and then mostly sunny and warm temperatures in the low to mid 80s. Temperatures in Gresham tomorrow about 84 degrees, same with PDX, and then moving up to the north, 81 degrees for Salmon Creek. Out along the coast, mostly cloudy tomorrow, a little breezy in the afternoon. Southwest winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Patchy morning clouds and then clearing through the I 5 corridor. East of the Cascades, temperatures in the 90s and upper 80s. So here's your seven day forecast. We've got changes ahead this week, potentially a few showers Monday, maybe a few more on Tuesday, drier day and warmer on Wednesday. And then we bring back a pretty good chance of showers on Thursday. But I think next weekend looking so good so far. So far, so good.